Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Black Eyes with me, Alpha Biomega and Empire of Japan. So I'm starting this episode uh, with the 15th General Army on the screen because I changed to their destination. We were originally sending them to Singapore but I rerouted them to Kotabaru because we need to make sure that these units will not spread around and we can push them back uh, towards Kuala Lumpur and destroy them. So they're, you know, that's sort of an information for you right there. Uh, we also have our main fleet station here in Singapore. I'm really hoping that we can capture the enemy uh, here somewhere, but okay, we have 100% naval supremacy, so I have a feeling they might have left to the South China Sea. Well, we'll see where their fleet operates very shortly, and based on that, we're gonna do something. But right now, we're conserving fuel, and that is a really good thing to do. And our operations are continuing in Borneo. You guys actually need to take the rail. Um, we are advancing, trying to push the enemy out of their respective areas. And if we could do that, it will be fine. But our main goal is to actually take this port. That's the last port they have. And if we can do that, it will spell success for us. Uh, so you yeah, managed to repel us over here, but it doesn't really matter. Because we still have... Yeah, we have different, different plans here. Okay. Pushing over here, that's really good. Come on, get in here. Okay, so who is hunting us? No, we're hunting, okay. Hmm. Where are you guys going? Oh, you're gonna sink those transport ships. Okay, well, that's totally not a waste. Okay, you guys need to stop drilling immediately. I need to move in here from where we are gonna launch an attack. Okay, a free military factory, uh, which I'm thinking we're gonna put on the medium artillery or heavy artillery because we lost so much there. Or amphibious equipment or tankettes. There's just so many options. But none of these are really critical. And we are actually almost done with our production, so it will be time to revisit that. Okay, for some time we're gonna put you on the amphibious equipment because we need to upgrade the ones that we are using here and make sure that things are going well oh god this is such an overkill well but we sank 12 British transport ships which I believe might be full of Full of their marines. Okay, and we no longer have a full supremacy in this area, which means that their forces or their main navy is probably over there. So that is quite a good thing to learn. Okay, we need to continue harassing them. Okay, we can continue attacking over here, pushing them away. Sink an enemy sub. I really feel like the American Navy is taking heavy casualties. Yeah, I feel like their naval count is going down significantly. Which is good, of course. That is absolutely lovely. Okay, and we finished our first two Yokohama class light cruisers. 
that is absolutely amazing. So we still have ships to upgrade and ships to finish. I'm tempted to wait a bit because I would like to give them the best hydrophone. But considering how long it's gonna take, I don't think we're gonna wait. We're just gonna shadow it immediately. So Yokohama class. Uh I'm a class refit is full equip with everything. Now we need to decide what we're gonna give you. We wanted to make you a sort of a jack of all trades if I remember. So we're gonna get Can we give you the heavy torpedoes? We can. Let's give you the fold plane and the Anti-aircraft guns and a sonar. So you will have 11.4 torpedo attack, depth charges, surface detection, sub detection. This is looking. Oh damn! Speed is going down. Well, no, you were far slow to begin with. Hmm. Can you have an anti air and a sonar? Okay, like this. I think that's a pretty good thing. So, again, I forgot to rename it. So, Yokohama class refit. And you guys can already get upgraded. It's not gonna be that expensive, pretty quick refit, and then you're gonna start serving in the fleet. We'll see how well you perform. Oh, they got some American tank division here as well. Come on, get in there. Okay, you're almost here, which means we will be able to strike at Kuala Lumpur airfield. Can you take... yeah, you can. Amazing. That's the port. If we can take that area, we are golden. I now have nothing to survive them. Okay, that's fine. Your car can go. We sink two transport ships over here. Sink four British transports. Okay, you guys are moving. Actually, made progress over here. That's good. You know, that port is just behind the corner and then they are out of supply. So continue with this. Low manpower. Well, I'm aware, but we're stockpiling fuel. That is really good. Anymore? On the market. Okay, Venezuela, I'm willing to pay you for that. And I'm actually so willing to pay that we're gonna import more from the Reich as well. Yeah, because our operations are actually really expensive when it comes to fuel. What the hell happened here? That's a mountain right here. I don't think we have the... Yeah, we don't. We don't have the capacity to stop them here. So, okay. No, wait, we do? Really? We'll take massive casualties, though. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Three days... Five days. Okay, guys. It's time you take the rail. And show us your worth. Go, go, go. Then there's... Well, we really need to take the report. Okay, so all 
three of you are refitting. Okay, fair enough. Did they send more troops in here? And they must have. Okay, uh, we've had another invasion at the Marshall Islands. And they're deep within the enemy control zone, but it doesn't really matter. It will cause them way more harm over here by taking that last port out. Fourteen hours, they will arrive in one day. Yep, we'll get it. And you will be done in three days. Okay, so with a bit more organization, you guys will be able to repel that. And we get another. Hmm, another factory. Okay, I guess two more units uh, or two more factories on a medium artillery won't hurt. Okay, yeah, now they're attacking us, which is a much more favorable position for us to be in. You guys need to get in here and repel that. And the moment we take this uh, port, they are done. Okay, three of their escorts have been destroyed. What are we doing here? 100%, 85, 85. Yeah, they're probably operating over here. You guys are going after these. Okay, so let me just move you. I'll delete this region and. Keep these regions and instead add this one. Okay, our submarines are literally burning them to the ground over here. Okay, so we've walked their advance over here. Actually, stop this. Stop this attack over here. It's gonna disturb their operations way more. And now they are out of supply. Do you hold this airfield? I think we already have some. Uh, yeah, we are operating from here. And we can. Definitely come here now and make you regret everything. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight American divisions that are going to be very sorry very soon. Okay. Now we're gonna cut their operation in half over here by Striking them here, and you guys can move and attack over here. And I think that they're, yeah, they're running out of supplies pretty dramatically. Okay, our two production capacity is missing. Aren't we? Yeah, we're building one. Okay, Central Malai, that's fine. How's it going over? Here, or they're pushing us back. Well, that doesn't really matter. You need to advance over here. Okay, so the, the operations over there are just slow. That's all there is. I think you guys can 
take out these guys. So what happened over here? Oh nice! This was our second or third fleet. And they sank USS Philadelphia, USS Downs, USS Paul Jones, and the escort ship USS Oriole. Okay, well that's what they get for sticking their nose within our territory. Huh, okay. So we also killed the USS Phoenix, a full-sized cruiser. Sink some enemies over here. What's going on over here? Oh, our submarines are chasing off to enemy submarines. Okay. Uh, Shizuichi Tanaka gained attack, defense, and panic skill. Good. And we finished the bicycles. Lovely. Uh, well, let's get the Riku Sentai. We've been putting that off for a while now. Our Riku Sentai need improved equipment to be able to defeat the Western nations who sit in fortified strongholds all across the Pacific. They need special tanks for their missions too. We should focus on designing such weapons. True enough. True enough. Okay, this is gonna be a bit brutal over here. But we'll manage. More fuel, someone? Nope. But yeah, we're way above 100,000 now. It's really good. We'll be able to launch this operation here soon. Okay, they're attacking us, depleting their forces even further. Huh, what the hell happened here? I don't remember it looking like this. Oh, and you're bleeding out your fuel, that's amazing. Okay, go there, and then you're gonna go back. I thought that you will hold it unless you get engaged in combat, but I was obviously mistaken. Is this... Oh, it's a mountain, and it's amazing. We'll cut them off into the mountains. Couldn't have chosen a better territory to fight them in. Uh, okay, I feel like we'll have to send in some marines here to finish this off because we're struggling. Okay, now they are almost certainly encircled. It's gonna be pretty heavy fighting here when we get there, but yeah, we got it. Okay, you can launch an attack, you can launch an attack. And you can join this. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So the enemy divisions are locked in these mountains. Led by General Mark Clark. Not gonna be a nice thing to see when they all die, but. They have a ton of strength. That's a big loss for them, honestly. Okay. 
Okay, and we finished the Type 97 20 millimeter anti tank rifle and mines. So, this one is gonna go to mobile battalions, infantry battalions, and special forces. So, we need roughly, let's call it 10,000 of them. So, once we have. I'm gonna do this. Point seventy-five. So we'll put it below machine guns. We do have, yeah, we have that extra factory on medium artillery. So now every single factory that's gonna come is gonna go to the handheld anti-tank. Okay, you guys stop. I'm gonna watch this again and together, and this time we're gonna win. You can just join. You can also join. Yep, it's brutal, but it's efficient, and it's war. Okay, and we finally taken hold in here. And we'll take all in here too, maybe? Nope. So you are all refitting immediately? Yeah, you are. Okay, that's good, I guess. Um, what we need to upgrade is the ESA class. Uh, so let me see, you have, yeah, I need to screenshot this because it's a variant of the Fuso class refit we've already done. And we'll just need to change it a little bit. So the Fuso class refit has a 75,000 75,000 engine and this is an 80,000 engine and you do have the armor layout like this and a medium range is that battleship armor design early let me just check that one because that is something that might be different no bad okay so it really is just the engine if we wanted to upgrade the engine, yeah, that's just insane. Okay, so let's just change this. Fuso class refit, we're gonna say this is gonna be saved as new, and it's gonna be the 1942 ESA class refit. And you're gonna use the 80,000. Okay, a little bit of an issue that I haven't realized. Is it a goddamn early or late or interwar engine? I think it's an early one, but let's make sure. Yeah, it's a turbine early engine. Steam turbine engine early. Yep. So once again, <laughs> into the breach. Um, okay, save as new. Nine. 1942 ESA class refit and you will use the early 80,000 steam engine I don't think there's anything you could upgrade nope okay we can upgrade the damage control so that is new what else That's, oh, that's going to be the subdivision. Okay. And this one should be usable for you, right? 5,762. Oh, there's going to be a different in the guns, too. 
Yeah, let me see what kind of guns we have there. I didn't realize that. Okay, so Issa, you have 16, 6 times 11. Should be fine. A high angle battery, 12.7 centimeter, 15 centimeter, 50, and 26. Is it really that expensive? One centimeter, fifteen centimeter. Yeah, it wow, well, it really is. Okay, so it's just pure reef. They're so aged. Yeah, they have barely anything. So I guess it really just makes sense. It's just that much difficult. I mean, that much difficult. It's five thousand. So not this. So it's two thousand. Ah, uh, nine hundred. Not even two thousand nine hundred per ship, and it's gonna make them way better. But Still, you know how it is. So we finished here the anti-tank rifle. Now we could get the improved infantry anti-tank weapons. Or we could start working towards the mechanized and recon. And get the improved headquarters company, which is the mechanized one. Which is useless before we get mechanized equipment anyway. Improved marines, improved... Mountain Warfare, Mother Mortar, yeah, we need the mechanization started, even if it's just very cheap. So, Type 98, so the mechanized equipment, it's way overdue. Yeah, okay, last division over here, and they're done. So, uh, how are the American casualties right now? I bet it's not really nice. Yep, 412,000 men lost to us. And it seems like our field and manpower is bigger than theirs. Okay, Stalingrad, there's a little bit of fighting there, but other than that, the rest of the front is peaceful today. Or is fighting near Suez. Free dockyards. All of those two ships are gonna come there soon. So we're ending this uh, episode on a high note. We actually got British Malaya completely under our control. And I'm really thinking we're just gonna make this easy for ourselves and land over here to finish the fights in Borneo. Because this is getting a little bit ridiculous. So let's start in Singapore. Land here. And that's gonna be that. And then we can attack Dutch East Indies or the Philippines, depending on what we're gonna want. Okay, sounds about right. Guys, all of you. This is not like, you know, an optional thing. Okay, and we can get the last governor. So production efficiency, growth, refitting, military. Okay, I really think that at this point the non-core manpower plus 5% is something that's gonna help us immensely because we got 0.14 of eligible non-core population available and that's 118 million so even the 5% whatever that's gonna be and I was thinking can we change the laws in regards to this? More bonds Main jurisdiction, sensor pressed, training standards, high standards. Because I'm thinking that foreign volunteers, foreign recruitment encouraged would help us, but that's giving us. <laughs> that's funny, that is giving us. Non-core manpower, 
That's funny. Fine, we're getting 2% here and 5 here. Well, either way, we're getting uh, Tarada Masei, who's gonna increase our Viku and manpower by 75 men, which is uh, uh, about what? 150, 300 guys per month, which is, you know, you can see it. Yeah, we also received Viku manpower 75. Uh, and he's gonna increase the non core manpower. So let's get him. And I'm not sure. Oh god, yeah, look at that. It went up to more than double of the eligible manpower. So that's gonna boost us significantly. Actually, if we had. What is it? Like 118 million of people. So 1% of that would be a million people. And I'm mean, roughly speaking, it would be 1.1855 million. But if we had 0.14%, that's about, let's call it 200,000. And now we have eligibility of about, yeah, of about 400,000 people. So that's about 250,000 more manpower. That is pretty good, if I say so myself. Guys, get in here. You guys, get in here. We need to finish this. There's no port here, right? That's literally just this one. And that's it. Then they're gone. So if our marines land there, they're gone. Okay. I'm just checking. Oh! One, two. Two, so there's five convoys. Yeah, our submarines are being busy. Oh, we spoke about putting subs up for construction and I haven't done that. Yeah. Okay, we need to... Let's put you and you there. And you're gonna be full lines of two ship. Yeah. I'm gonna, we need more submarines, that's a definite statement. And we'll also need to look at our current submarines and figure out what we can do with them. Because we could, I think, make them way better. And but with all of these engines differences, it will be hell to do anything with them. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, hey! Okay, a destroyer died here. Cool.